Recording in progress. Hello, John. Hello, Albert. How are you? Uh, excellent. Thank you very much. Good very health good. You're, and you're, spirits. You're looking stately as usual. Anyways, so we're here today to talk about uh, Veritas, okay? Um, Veritas uh, were established in Ireland in 1899. That means they're 124 years. Um, they have a warehouse here. They have a lot of shops, and they're about to close everything in 2024. Um, they were Ireland's leading retailer of religious goods, um, and they opened their first store in 1928. Um, it's a great loss to the church, and of course, and it's a great loss to the religious community. It is, and uh, I noticed the bishops uh, have made a statement talking about uh, the great loss and that, but uh, of course it is, uh, but uh, solutions can be found for every situation, the lack of Veritas, which has, is, is a great store I visited, as a matter of fact, I was only in it a, in a week or so ago, and I got um, I, I got uh, a little uh, picture of the Holy Family and a lovely sort of a um, frame and um, it's lovely, and um, and then I got this as well the the Divine Mercy uh, by Sister Maria Faustina. Uh, she she took the name Maria. You don't see that at times, but it's Maria, and I like the name Maria. Uh, so I got that, and it was only uh, four twenty, and and uh, very helpful in that store. So um, so. If, Rather than just be whinging about it, uh, I'm making a little proposal now as we're speaking. Uh, that um, out of my own personal phones, nothing to do with the Christian TV or and uh, I propose to uh, put 10,000 into the kitty. And uh, if a thousand Irish people, and there must be at least a thousand with funds, they can put in 10,000. Uh, euros each, which is not a fortune, uh, but it amounts to about, uh, I think, about a hundred million. Uh, and that way, there could be more, but we just say a thousand, and it would be founded on the co uh, cooperative movement principles founded by um, um, uh, Lord Plunkett or somebody with great vision. And uh, the farmers in Ireland uh, took to it because. Uh, there was strength in unity and the co-op movement started and was a great success at farmers being able to get a fair price for their produce, and which they did, uh, which they hadn't got here before, but then they did get. And a great example of the success of the co-op movement is the Kerry Co-op in, in County Kerry, which was under the management of Mr. Dennis Brosnan, a great man with vision and now Kerry Co-op is an international brand coming from humble beginnings and there's other ones that have done very well as well so um, that's the po that's the potential with a co-op so that would be the solution in my view for for uh, Veritas and um, rather than some individual with a lot of money taking control and dictating what needs to be done the co-op movement would be in a more of a cooperative way of doing things, and uh, the manager, uh, manager would be in charge, which there probably is a manager already, and his job would be to make it viable, uh, the, each store viable, with the number of employees, and some might be part time, uh, but uh, employees would be would be an important ingredient, uh, but they might need to some there might be some permanent, uh, there would need to be permanent, but there might be just more part-time, but but part of the establishment that nobody should be just forced to leave unless age or something comes into picture or illness or something. And I think that that would be the solution. And then uh, with the co-op, with the ones in the co-op, there might be a, a little board of management or something like that or whatever they call it in the co-op movement. Uh, to just have some little oversight, uh, not to interfere, but to suggest, for example, uh, that the manager be responsible in the various stores and that they have our sales every so often uh, of, for books that might have been slow but are important and to sort of take a more hands-on approach to the market. They mentioned that sales have gone down and that might account for the fact that the, 
people are not practicing their Catholic faith as much. So there's a lot of scope to be done from that point of view because people need to practice their Catholic faith if they want to save their immortal souls. And that could be highlighted uh, in the co-op way of doing things. And uh, that would be my uh, suggestion for Veritas, rather than whinging and sort of saying, what a loss. Do something positive. I think it's it's the something should be done as well because I mean it's it's one of Ireland's old I won't say oldest company I think Ratborn Candles are actually Ireland's oldest company and um, right. they, they date back to they, I think they're they, still on the go they are they did date back to the 14th century but there's there's probably a look and there's older businesses than that you've got pubs as well there of is. course from the 13th and 11th 11th century whatever but anyway but Veritas back to Veritas it's 124 they have years such antiquity. This country is awash with that kind of thing. But certainly Veritas plays an important role. And the, their shop in Middle Abbey Street is their nearly their headquarters. They have one in the Blanchetown Shopping Centre, which I visited, and they have um, goods there. And then they have seven. So they're probably one in Cork and Limerick and maybe one or two overseas. But they're such a, of such importance that they should not be allowed to close. And um, and um, so I'm making that suggestion, and I hope uh, that other ones that ha- I don't know how we we'll reach them, at least a thousand. But I'm making that appeal uh, to stop whinging and boot things. Like very task is so important, and it can be put on a, a, a different footing, the co-op movement, and that's the best way to do it, rather than somebody coming in with a load of money and, and making demands this, that, and the other. You know. Uh, yeah. is the co-op I think is the solution. It, the co-op is the solution. Um, but I do think as well. I mean, the whole um religious goods area is 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 kind of saturated as well. I mean, you have a lot of you. First of all, a lot of people buy their stuff now on Amazon and they buy it on eBay and stuff. Um, and you also have like a lot of retailers, online retailers selling religious goods as well in Ireland. So the market itself is quite competitive. Oh. So the first thing I suppose they'd have to do is, I couldn't see them holding and managing to hold on to all the shops okay when you when you look at the the cost per square feet of a uh, retail these days but maybe if they downsized maybe kept one or two shops and maybe if they done something with their warehouse maybe i, no, I don't know no. and cap it low uh, oliver i wouldn't go down that road in a thick uh keep what you have uh there's no point in downsizing like that and this business of people buying stuff on amazon they want their heads examined. It's good to go to a store and talk to people. Uh, they're they're not talking to people. They're talking to, I don't know what. Yeah, uh, That's but... no way to do business. And now, hold on. The shops are important. If 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 that was the case, all oh, shops might close and we'd be buying everything on the, on the internet and maybe the groceries and all the rest of it. No, forget about that. The shops are important places uh, that have their goods in it and they can... If they can have sales every so often and that type of thing, do, do things that way. But keep the shops open because they're performing a service in the communities that they're in. I visited the one in, in Middle Abbey Street and I've already visited the one in Rancher's Town. And if I was in Cork or Limerick and there was one there, I'd be visiting that. Now, um, I don't be bothered. I buy one or two things on the internet uh, from religious um, uh, establishments. Uh, that are have premises, not uh, the like of Amazon and these places. Uh, they're not uh, the owners of that are quite the reverse of practicing Catholics. Uh, so I like to go to a store where there's, where there's a Catholic store or uh, where there's books that's going to nourish the faith. And this is the way to explain it, not to uh, sort of talk about modern this, that, the other. Stores are important. If you to visit a store is you're going to be communicating with people, and that's the way to life. Oh, no, I know. I, I I totally agree with you, John. But I think okay. we we touched on this in a previous video before. Okay, and I did suggest okay that if yeah. the the uh, the the retailer you know, the shop on the street is to survive the bricks and mortar, okay, the government is going to have to take action against um this online business because what's happening is okay people are buying stuff and they're buying it cheaper the delivery is fantastic okay um for amazon and all those 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 companies they deliver it cheap okay so what i'm suggesting here is a, a balancing of taxes okay so that you can keep your 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 retailers open okay 
by making it a little bit more expensive, say, to buy on Amazon. That's what I'm saying, you know, that I think it would be good because when you think about it, okay, the government has a, has a has an environmental agenda, which we wouldn't totally agree with in some aspects. But the problem with online is, as well, is, 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 is the amount of, if, if we go down the road of environment for a second, okay, no. Um, when you think of the amount of deliveries that happen from Amazon around Ireland, okay, and from DPD, the couriers and all the different people, okay, um, the amount of emissions from all these vans is incredible, you know. So I think what we need is a balance of taxes, okay, to say, okay, we'll raise the taxes here for online shopping and we'll be able to keep our, our stores open because we can't be losing stores like Veritas, which is 124 years old. Um, I think your idea... Certainly the age, uh, Oliver, certainly the age, which is a, a bonus, uh, but uh, it's, it's it's the now that counts. So I'm suggesting the business of about a thousand people putting in 10,000 in a cooperative thing and keeping the stores, but making them maybe more lean and find out uh, did they own the stores or are they leased or what it is it? But preferably they should be owned. The same as way if you're in a house, it's not there's not much point in renting all the time. You need to buy your house uh, uh, in due course and in a place that's not going to rob you uh, from the point of view of the price and um and that you can afford to 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 have and pay a mortgage if you have to. And but as you get uh, experience in life. Uh, you can buy a house that you don't have any of that business of mortgages. Yeah, the, I mean, I yeah, we we were we we hit on that as well in a previous video where we're talking about Waltons, and when we're we were saying that you know Waltons now is suffering from the online. Everybody's buying their instruments from Germany, from from gear for music, and there's a whole load of other websites. Okay, I buy from them myself even. Okay, but I try to buy as much as I can from Waltons. But Waltons made the mistake of not owning their premises in the city center, and that's why they're gone out of the city center now. You know, so you made a good yeah, point there. Yeah. So. yeah. Yeah, I mean, own your premises. Uh, that that is the way to the prudent way. And uh, the, what the suggestion I'm making about the co-op end of it would have maybe a thousand, but then ten thousand, uh, which should be possible. Yeah, I mean they can't all be that mean, or even even one of put it in. Even uh, even one of um, Ireland's most prominent businessmen, Ben Don, shortly before he died, uh, may he rest in peace. Um, Shortly before Ben died, he said renting was a joke. He closed quite a few businesses and maybe they were, those gyms were actually being rented by him. I don't know what, what the story was, <clears throat> but he did say that, that renting in business is a joke. Of course it is. It's a waste of time. Same as renting in a house is a, is a waste of time. You might have to do it uh, uh, when you're younger and that, uh, but as you uh, mature, uh, there's something up here, you do that. But this business of the cutology of buying stuff from other places that young people do, they want to wake up and uh, visit premises. Uh, cheap is not always the best way to go about things. You you want to support where, 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 there's, where there's people employed and given a good service and advice. You get advice. You won't get that advice from Amazon and all these uh, cutology of places. And the these people thing are... Uh, they don't pay their staff accordingly as well uh, as they should uh, because they're owned by one individual and they yeah. call the shots. So I'm not interested in that kind of thing. I wasn't brought up with thanks be to God. Uh, and, uh, but uh, this business of, of Veritas, I want to see them continuing and I'd like to do all I can to, to propose that. And that's why keeping it straightforward and simple, a thousand people putting in 10,000 would be a good substantial amount and have it on the co-op movement, as I said. I keep saying that. And keep those stores open. And uh, it might have to be run in a... Well, it would be run in a different way with the manager responsible for the uh, running of it and the amount of books and what way they do. They might have other items that they can do and that will improve sales, but that they, um, that they have some way of making themselves a bit better known without spending a fortune and but they should own all the places that they're living that they have and that would be something that we as a co-op mood we would be would be making sure that that was going to be the fact that they had some control over their business premises and all the rest of it and i know electricity has gone a bit high and that can be a problem but and there can be other ways of um, 
have an electricity with with some kind of I won't say gen- yeah generators or something. There can be some way of 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 doing it and saving a bit of money. You might have something up on the roof that would be able to generate uh, electricity with these um whatever they have on the roof. Solar uh, panels. It, yeah. It, it, yeah, solar panels or something like that. And uh, well, maybe a little windmill or something. I uh, see them in some places, and I'm sure that's going to become popular and time goes on because um, it, it will you can generate your own electricity and put some into the grid, as some people do. So, and I see these um, in some business premises, these these windmills, and sometimes smaller ones in smaller type business premises, and uh, that seems to me to be a good thing. Uh, so I'm um, saying that there can be ways of um, saving on the sort of the expense of electricity because you have to have electricity. But you get great advice from the staff in, in Veritas and that would be a shame to lose that advice. It's like the, the wisdom of the older person. That should be tapped a damn sight more than it is. Yeah, you know, when, when you have a company as old as that, sometimes they lose sight of um, they get they, they just become worn out and, and they're trying to they can't see the, the light at the end of the tunnel. Um, yeah, and so well, sometimes you see, they, they haven't got the advice and they haven't got the they, they haven't got the whatever you call it. They have the experience, but um, this now is a wake up call and there's a solution in the co op way of doing things, and that's the way to go and to make sure that all the premises that they have is owned by Veritas and uh, it's in the co-op uh, situation and it can be run very successfully that way and examine ways to sort of minimise the electricity cost and then have periodic sales. The way to do, that's what they used to have in drapery stores to generate business. And the same thing in these stores, uh, books that, uh, my, that are uh, jewels, a book is a jewel. But that's why you're able to take your time and read. You don't find everything out just on your Todd Sweeney looking at a at a computer or something. You can find out a certain amount, but you want to read what the what the saints have to say and the various um, great uh, books. He like when Saint Patrick come here, and he was uh, he's a doctor of the church and is still quoted. Isn't that extraordinary? He was and he was a man that lived a a different life for the period, but he, he got saw the light. And, and become a great bishop and a great, uh, a great and a saint and a, for Saint Augustine and for, for for the promoting of the Catholic faith and and, and the one true, uh, you know, Jesus, the one true God. So this is what uh, very touch stands for that kind of thing, and this is what I like and this is what I'd like to support. So I'm making that suggestion, and I hope it travels. I think that um, when you walk into a Veritas shop, uh, I was in the Veritas shop there about two weeks ago, and what you see is it's a it's a lovely shop, and it's it's a very very unique atmosphere. Okay, it's a very nice. pe- it's a very peaceful atmosphere. It is, it is, and it's uh, you're in a different place, and it's you know you're in the right place. There's, you don't get any bad vibes there, and uh, I've met people there, and there's often they're older folk it it's actually ones as well it actually has the same feeling almost as it you know when you go into the church there's a little uh, admin Correct. office where you hand in your your yeah. mass cards and stuff it actually has that kind of feeling it has a very unusual unique feeling and the one i was in was in blanchardstown now you're talking about blanchardstown is a very very built up area of 110,000 people um and if you go into all the shops they all have this crazy hectic atmosphere but then you go outside the shopping center you turn left cross the road from the library and there you have veritas yeah you go in and you enter it into this peaceful vacuum it's really really nice so i I wouldn't like to see them I think I hope your suggestion suggestion is taken on board because I have been going to Veritas since my god twenties. Uh, you know, I always liked it because it was always nice. Though I tell you what was in Veritas that's not in other shops. Hope, there you go. Okay. You know, yeah. Well, you see, this is it, and uh, the people that I've met there and all the rest of it is and uh, 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 marvelous. As a matter of fact, the last time I was going, I don't know who was standing at the door, but suddenly it was open for me, like as if a VIP coming in. <laughs> now, I've not mentioned, mentioned that in any shape or form, but this is a kind of courtesy. And I don't think it was, a, it was just one of the shoppers or something. 
and he opens the door for yours truly. And I wasn't going to struggle, and I didn't have a walker sticker at them. Yeah, yeah. It's a fiddle. And uh, but uh, thank you very much, as I do. Mm. And this is the sort of what you experience. And then when I'm talking to the staff and getting in, I get the best of advice. I was looking for a book there, and I didn't have it. But they were able to look it up and see that it was available here, there, and yonder. And I said, uh, you should get your paws on it. Mm-hmm. You know, I said, uh, because I'd buy it if you had it. And there's one thing, I bought some hymn books, but they don't have enough hymn books. I like the hymn books in the sacred rites, in the Latin rites and all the rest of it. And with hymns that I heard when I was younger, they were sung, and we all sung as well. And there was happening here, thanks for the God, in the local church here in Oldcastle. Uh, but um, uh, they could have a better variety of hymn books. I remember asking one of the staff and they went down, and I said, yeah, you should have a bit better selection than that. But that'd be mm. one thing I'd be suggesting as well, uh, if this thing gets off the ground and the co-op, and then demand the co-op, it, the people that would there could be a, a, a small management company for the the co-op uh, to sort of uh, just oversee things and to um, report then to the members. I wouldn't be in that because of my age, uh, but uh, that would be the ideal the way the way co-ops are run, mm-hmm. and uh, it's the best way for the success of the Veritas because it would be successful and it would stay there when we're gone. And when other generations can benefit from it, because they're not all going to be spending their time talking to the internet uh, and all them from yokes that uh, don't believe in nothing. You want to go into a place where where you feel you you're, you can ask questions and and they'll be answered in a in a proper way. Good Catholic bookshops like Veritas. So someone asked me there recently. They said to me, they said to me, Oliver, can you tell me? Why in the Blanchardstown Shopping Centre sometimes you see a queue coming out of Vodafone all the way down the aisles, okay? And I said, do you know why? And I said, because they're getting no service. They're ringing up on the phone, okay? They're getting no service, and then they're having to go into the shop, okay? And then they all do the same thing. So that's why you see a huge queue inside in Vodafone, because this that's whole really idea jacked. this idea of remote service doesn't right. work. So your idea of a, a proper shop where people can walk into is a great idea. It's the, it's, the, it's the most important because you want to speak to people that have the experience and that will be able to answer the sort of questions that we all have at times. And uh, it's a gift. And oftentimes uh, in parishes, the Lincoln Avenue has a, a shop there in the, in the near the church there in St. Mary's in, in Navan. And, uh, but they would have a limited selection. And they wouldn't have the same attitude as Veritas. As a matter of fact, there's a man there and he's his dog there, which I don't think is appropriate for a religious store myself, quite frankly. And that kind of careless way of going on, I don't like it. And uh, I bought a few things there, but their approach is just wrong. That's there was a woman there one time and her approach was great. Uh, she had that Veritas manner. But I don't see that there now, and uh, they they don't have a proper stock control. Um, you, you can get a thing one to him, or you go to look for it again, and it's not there. They haven't got it because they have no stock control system. Uh, the way the issue receipts is is not it doesn't take account of the way so that you can reprint your stock. So it's badly run the way by it taking that particular store, and maybe other ones are like that. There's one in Mullingar and a, anything you ask for they don't have. So they're a bit useless. Whereas very is like a gold mine. They have everything mm-hmm. that you nearly need, except they don't have enough hymn books. That I would like to have them more hymn books. But in any event, uh, we, we well, let's hope that this suggestion is made about 10,000 for about a thousand members to put in. 10, it's not a fortune. and uh, But it would mount if a thousand is doing it. I made it might be a hundred million, but uh, not great at. I was never great at mathematics. I failed <laughs> mathematics. We'll have to call in the accountants, John. <laughs> <laughs> oh, but oh. I just uh, I was trying mm. to make it out. I think it's about a hundred million if I put it ten thousand. But I hope it is because that's a good substantial amount, it is. and uh, it'll help to 
uh, make it sound for the future and for future generations. Long may it continue, and we would certainly, I, I, I hope that others take it up, and that we have wherever we get it out there. Thank you very much, John. Thank you very much, Oliver.